Welcome back everybody to part number 31 of the Disciples of Liberation playthrough and in the last episode we went to war and we went through two of the factions um, and then the uh, Inquisitor Regent came so we need to, uh, to see him can't still do the tomb I'm guessing it's after this battle that we need to do for that can't do the bones yet can't go back to Hurik yet so yeah and all my words, the frames. Let me just check. Ah, I know why. Two seconds, everybody. I need to unplug one cable from one place and plug it in somewhere else because I'm an idiot. Um, but while I am doing that, um, I have adjusted the volumes slightly. Um, just a couple of comments on sounds and stuff. And it's a bit of a weird one. Um, I watch a normally the first episode of a um oops of a sort of a new recording session just to make sure it's all okay um but uh yeah watching it on my sort of laptop and then once i've uploaded it um i got some comments back and yeah people are saying it's really quiet and when i compared that against what i had uploaded it looks like just the the processing has just widened to the voice difference so Apologies. So, anyway, let's speak to the regent and uh, kill him, shall we? You approach the battlefield and the unmistakable form there. Like an agent of death incarnate, the Inquisitor Regent closes across the battlefield, leaving a wake of blood behind him. He's coming for you. Mm, the Inquisitor Regent. The soldier sent to aid the prior at the Castle Hale. By now, he knows we killed the Empire's commander. That's we can't let him take us, Aviana. The things he'll do. Right, defeat all enemies. Level 23 against 32 should kill him quite easily. Right, so let's just defer. What are you doing? Judgment. Ooh, even no graveyard for him. So we'll go straight into a, a heal. Father, guide my blade. Today is a good day for a fight. I call on his holy fury. Hi, Father. Shine a light. Straight into a burn. Glad we healed. Mounting an offensive. All right, let's go and do a heal here. And start of him. Uh, let's. Come and flank, and then do that. Banshee. Move Banshee here. Whale. Resilient. Okay. Pain will be your reward. You can stop now. So I'm gonna bring her I'm going. here. I'm not gonna paralyze because we should be able to get two hits on him. 
Let's come into here and paralyze. We'll do this and hit him again. Uh, we don't need to move. Regents down. He was easy. Got the flanking bonus here. Two attacks. Just attack. Let's just kill him. I will bring wrath with me. Wow. Da -da -da -da. Um, let's ice my strength. He's immobilized. Mobilize him. There will be no surrender. Glory and honor on the offensive. Been flanked, but that's fine because we will flank him. Eh. Let's do that. Kill him. He might be in trouble. Oh, there goes my con my companion. Oh, well. Stand down. <laughs> Moving. We've got plenty of other companions. I will lick your wounds. It's interesting to see actually what happens when we do kill a companion. Uh, let's just go after this guy. Ah, not quite enough. That's fine. That should confuse. On the offensive. God damn it. I kill him. Companions have got to be different to units. To battle. Uh, it's, he's not doing so much. get the blanking bonus. Let 
us savor this moment. Should be able to kill this guy. We do. Dead. Move on up. Sandra, move you up. You will be part. I am his vessel. Stone armor is nothing. Let's move. Take this guy on. Been marked. Voices. Let's come in here and we will just impale. Dead, I think. Probably not enough. No. Move up here. That will enable that hit. Just out of distance. So move up again. Of course you firebolt. It's fine. He's not moving anywhere now. If this column doesn't take him, the other one will. Okay, Regent's dead. Okay, he does come back with a little bit of health then afterwards. Good to know. The Inquisitor Regent's body lay still in the mud of the battlefield. You can hardly believe it's over. When an arrow lands at your feet, a parchment wrapped around the fletchling. It's from Cowan. Impossible. Your eyes scan the muddied fields, and there you spot him, watching you. Defeat Cowan's army. Okay, first off, let's just nip back out here. I just need to gather resources. Missing a primal essence, but still need to upgrade our um can't upgrade our tower. Uh spell wise, there's nothing. Okay. Uh, marketplace. Equipment I'm not too fussed about. Merchants, Ooh, sorceress. Target is filled with burning. This is removed and unleash a powerful explosion. That chains. The sorceress dies. She is reborn as a lesser devil with 100% HP. The sorceress doesn't go to the graveyard. That's interesting. We've got a skeletal warrior. Might just recruit her just for backup. Okay, let's nip back. It's time to take down Cowan. I pledged to my mother I would find you. By my hand, 
she would have revenge. We aren't your enemy, Cowan. Again, one ring to rule them all. I'm not your enemy, or Muriel is not your enemy. There's been too much bloodshed today. It doesn't have to be like this. She is the one thing uniting our people, and what do you do? You corrupt her mind, draw her to battle. You are my enemy, whether you like it or not. We tried. So we've got to defeat all the enemies. He's level 23 again. And afraid. Oh, see, I like afraid. If the Ferrant Elf Assassin does not use his gold AP during a turn, his abilities deal massive damage. Oops, okay. So we need to take him down pretty sharpish. Um, let's put in... No, it was Ormil who has paralyzed, yeah. And it is her fight. She's only level 29, but that's fine. Got that sorceress. Give the sorceress a go instead of the old uh, Lorena. Let's give this a go. Frost arrows. He's there. All right. Time to defer. Come in and impale. She can attack twice, can't she? Yep. Uh, it's melee range ball. Let's defer then. Can probably get them do that. Going to get chilled here. Wow. dead unless it misses okay that's fine <sighs> couldn't have done that shouldn't have empowered should have just affairs as I normally do just done that right he's dead can you hear the voices right you can chain so let's move you to here that I go to victory right 
Let's move you up here and do this. Whale. Doesn't do much damage, really. Quick shots are fine. Take this guy on. You will be okay, so detonate is an AOE. It's good to know. Poisoned and bleeding should be dead. Let's come here. Should be confused. Should kill him. Let's get in the back here. Gotta be careful. Galleon greets you. Must keep a distance. Aim and shoot. Good miss. By the seasons of my body. This is a spoiler top. We are right, do that. Cassandra. Move up to here. Three hundred damage is good. That's fine. You're done. The Liberator reigns. Let's move into here. Get a flank. Should be enough to kill him, hopefully. Wow. Okay, there's another troop dead. That's two gone in this battle. Let's do that just to make sure. She does some good damage. I like her. I'm going. Move in. Stand up. That'll kill that one. These are 
you can paralyze that one. Up you come. And should be game over. Okay. Couple of sloppy bits of play here for my possessed and infernal golem. I can get them back. The battle is over. Around you is the unnatural stillness of the dead. Survivors pick their way through the field, tending to the fallen or looting. The blood pounding in your ears begins to subside as a new sound rises to take its place. A harsh thrumming that you feel re reverberate up through your boots into your body. Uh, that's probably a good terrifying sound, right? Not a bad terrifying sound. Hold. Something comes to earn our blood. My father, protect us. Mortis, my queen. She's here. It must be her. Or Galleon returned. The air itself bursts into light that pulses with the sound. The light seeps, bleeds, surges out of the ground, up into the battlefield and the sky above. Trumpets, the stink of sweat and dirt on the blood of a billion battles. The blinding light blesses and an angel appears before you, or what was once an angel. Okay. Ooh. Viren. The angel turns its dead eyes upon you. Your skin crawls at the intensity and power of his gaze. Um, there was a tomb of him. Oh, my good god. We've got a new helm piercer. Skill points. We've got to defeat this guy. But two secs. I'll be back. I need to re-recruit some troops. Um, so in my infernal golem, if, I, if you wouldn't mind. Um, ba -da -ba -ba. And let's just nip into the unit. Uh, I need to train up that guy anyway. Got to do that. I've got one already. So I didn't need to do that. Right, character-wise, uh, we've got two skill points. We've got this. Dexterity of 11, power 38, critical chance 5%. It's just getting there. If that was up in Epic, we probably would would have that. Um, that's just morale. We've got that. Da -da 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 -da. Mm. I think we we're doing stuff in here, weren't we? Let's do that and do that. Get the divine and unholy resistance up as well. Uh, unit wise, you need to do that. Got 10 more. Hmm. Could put a soldier in. Just put a possessed in. That's what we had before. Not too much difference. You're still rubbish. Okay. Let's gather again. And we got a new blueprint, I think. Kinetic Rage. Toughens improves surrounding melee allies, grants strong and bleeding attacks to, to the targets. They inflict bleed. Decent. Um, okay, so that's the first thing we need to do for an unholy initiate. And let's just got to defeat Varen. But I think we're going to leave this one here. We're just approaching 30 minutes. We'll save Varen for the next one. Um, but yeah, that's, 
yeah i'm guessing because we're tier two for everything we've got all the companions now maybe we're this signifies halfway through the game who knows i certainly don't but uh yeah really thoroughly enjoying this so far but uh I'm gonna leave this one here as i said um please like comment subscribe all of that good stuff it really really does help me out um there'll be some more disciples liberations coming to you shortly and i'll see you all in that next one